The destruction is the reality lived by First Nations people fighting to protect country across this land and across the world. Indigenous peoples across the world protect 90% of the planet's remaining biodiversity. We are the ones fighting to keep the waterways clean, the air breathable, the land healthy, <clears throat> protecting them from the violence of colonial governments that continue to pillage, plunder and pollute. The Australian colony is an imperial occupation of the lands of hundreds of sovereign nations. It is a project that subdues, oppresses and exploits First Peoples and our sovereignty in order to extract wealth, just so a handful of people can profit. The colonial project killed and dispossessed First Peoples to get this power and wealth. And it will do whatever it needs to hold on to it. It relies on the oppression and denial of First Nations sovereignty in order for it to exist. When we talk about sovereignty, we are talking about much more than just the romanticised spiritual notion talked about in the Uluru Statement. We are talking about real political sovereign power. And I know that might make people feel uncomfortable, but too bad. That's why the government is scared to acknowledge it. We are talking about sovereign rights, rights to our homelands, our rights to nurture our lands, water, sea, country, and sky as we have for millennia. Our right to veto anything that has a destructive impact on our mother. To have the final say over the logging and destruction of our forests and bushlands. The right for us to protect country and to prevent extinction. Ecosystem collapse and bushlands. The right for us to protect country and the right to ensure a future for all people of these lands by practising sustainability, love and respect. Our people have never ceded sovereignty. We have never given up our right to manage our own lands and our own people. That is our constitution. We've got the oldest constitution on the planet. Yours has only been here a couple of hundred years. And it defies the real laws of these lands. This sovereign right has existed forever and it still remains. Our sovereignty is our right to self-governance and to be the architects of our own future. It is the right to make and enforce our own laws the right to economic independence and the right to self-determine our own destiny. Our sovereignty is real. The only thing we lacked is the power to enforce it without interference by the colonial government. But that is different now. We are strong. We are united. And our power is growing. The fight has always been about our sovereignty and it continues today. This is why I'm standing here as a member of the Black Sovereign Movement. We are the cultural descendants of this resistance and we continue to retain our unceded sovereignty and continue to fight for our sovereign rights. I'm not standing here as merrily myself, but as one of many, as part of this lineage of fighters. We are the grassroots activists, organisers, campaigners, elders, professors and law men and women who have been leading our people's resistance since colonisation began. And we will continue to resist the colony until our sovereign peoples have freedom and until we have regained rights over our own lands. This country, your system of government, has been built on lies, lies. 
And the referendum for the voice to parliament is a continuation of these lies. It promises to finally fix the Aboriginal problem. It is false hope because it is tricking people into genuinely believing that a powerless advisory body is going to protect our country and sacred sites, save our lives, keep our babies at home. The voice is the window dressing for constitutional recognition. We have rejected constitutional recognition before. It's it is a 20-year-old Howard-era policy created with the explicit purpose of undermining sovereignty, self-determination and land rights for First Peoples. The Black Sovereign Movement has been consistent to the opposition of any form of constitutional recognition and this voice to Parliament. This is just another attempt by a colonial government to make clear that it has power over us and force its rules upon us.